My name is Timothy Long. I'm the curator of costumes at the Chicago History Museum and curator of the exhibition Chic Chicago. The Chicago History Museum has one of the largest collections of historic dress uh, with over 50,000 objects that date back to the 1750s. The collection is not only one of the largest in the world, uh, but we are also one of the oldest collections of historic dress with our first accessioned object coming into the museum in 1898. The exhibition Chic Chicago opened at the Chicago History Museum in September of 2008 and has 62 pieces from 1861 to 2008. The objects in Chic Chicago were chosen for two main reasons. Uh, first, because each of the objects are hallmarks of fashion history from major designers going back to the mid-19th century with the birth of the designer. But even more important than the uh, connections to fashion history is that each of the pieces in Chic Chicago were worn by a Chicago woman. The idea for Fashion Next developed from a frustration that we had with trying to collect contemporary dress. So we developed a design competition where we asked five established local designers to create pieces inspired by five pieces from the Chic Chicago exhibition. The designers are to pick one of those pieces, then turn in sketches of the newly inspired piece. Those five sketches will be narrowed down to three designers, and those final three will create the gown in fabric. The fabric is donated by um, Brentano Fabrics and uh, the final piece, the winner of Fashion Next, will become a part of the permanent collection and go on to exhibition in Chic Chicago for the final months. I'm Tommy Walton, and this is Roger Price, and our label is called Price Walton. There was really no question or hesitation that we were going to use the Charles Frederick Worth piece as our inspiration and do a very unusual kind of enlarged origami uh, styled jacket that is kind of like the body of an insect. It has kind of a dragonfly feeling to the sleeves and the body has a kind of an articulated torso like a wasp. My name is Paul Sisti. The company is actually Paul Sisti. People say Paul Sisti Design, Paul Sisti Creations, but Paul Sisti. The garment that I designed for Fashion Next, uh, which was inspired by the Charles James butterfly dress, is weightless and adaptable to a modern woman. So I trimmed the dress down to a short dress. The skirt is kind of a detachable so that it, it, it can be convertible. So it can be worn different ways, which women these days like to have things. They always say, oh, I want to wear it another time. Hello, my name is Lauren Line, and the name of my business is Lauren Line Limited. I was automatically, truthfully, attracted to the Charles Frederick Worth gown. If you get to see my piece, if I'm selected, there is an apron piece that is that comes off of the gown that if you take that piece off, you have a complete suit that a person could actually wear, a lady could actually wear. I added a bustle in the back that is gathered, similar to the gathering that is used in the Worth gown. If you notice the Worth gown, it has lace. I did not use lace. I used a basket weave, open weave, and a chocolate brown that was just absolutely delicious and delectable. The skirt construction has a high waistband, which is very, very prevalent now, and also just very good on a woman's figure. So when she takes that little apron off, she has a very nice fitted, well embellished, lovely looking suit that looks like the Worth suit, but isn't a copy. It looks fresh, it looks new, it's fashion next. My name is Jeremiko Shoshana. Uh, my business, the corporate name is Gamzo Incorporated. However, the label is Jeremiko. Based on what my interpretation would be for Charles James, we cut out strips of fabric, just long strips of fabric that became longer and shorter and longer and shorter. And we took the fabric and interwove it so that there is no sewing. It's just a little tacking here and a tacking there. And as the strip goes down the back, it's just release. The further you get down, the shorter the strips go. We decided to put a little short crop jacket over it and do the same effect 
with the the strip. Um, the longer the strips got, they also intertwine in with the dress. The final designer in the Fashion Next competition is a woman whose name is Melissa Serpico Camhout. Uh, her company's name is Serpico. She chose the Comme des Garcons evening gown from the early 1990s, which is a convertible evening gown, starting with a floor-length gown with a train. You can actually pick up the train and wear the train, turning it into a cocktail-length dress. Melissa's design for Fashion Next incorporates that convertible aspect where uh, you really have two gowns in one, the floor-length gown uh, made out of the Brentano fabrics, and then you can convert that by wrapping around uh, your body, and it creates more of a cocktail-length dress. Il se coquille.